Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for my upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY I'll be making a glamorous lantern chandelier. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start off I'll be using 16 gauge hanger wire. I wasn't sure how long I would need it so I cut off 20 inches. Next I'm going to start from the center and I'm going to start bending it into a circle working my way out until it looks like a twister. And if you can see this wire is very flexible and easy to bend. Once I had the shape I wanted, I'm going to start opening it up by just pulling it up and pulling it down to make it look like a twister. Next I'll be using these mirror acrylic butterflies and these come 48 in a pack and they come in three different sizes. These also come with self adhesive tabs and they also come with protective film on both sides. These butterflies are very flexible. You can either bend the wings or just leave them as is and I'll be taking off the protective film before I start gluing them on the wire. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll be using the small butterflies and I'll start gluing them on the wire from the bottom all the way to the top following the pattern of the wire. Gluing the butterflies in this pattern will make it look like the butterflies are flying in a twister all the way to the top. I'll continue gluing the butterflies following the wire. Once I was done, I set it aside. If you like this DIY video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you enjoy videos like this. Next, I'll be using a paper lantern and in this bag, you'll get the lantern and the wire and it also comes with self explainable directions on the back side. And it's very easy to put together. Just open up your lantern and slide the wire in and then hook it on the sides. It also comes with an inside outside hook and it makes it easy to hang. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms linked below. Next I'll be using these self adhesive acrylic mirror strips and they come 10 in a pack and with a protective film and I'll be using 16 for this project. Because the back side is self adhesive I'm only going to remove the paper on both ends. Next, I'm going to start gluing my mirror strips on the wire part of the lantern on the top part and then I'll repeat the same steps for the bottom part. I'll continue repeating the same steps with the rest of the strips. There is going to be a slight gap with every strip, but by leaving the paper on, it will prevent any dust from sticking onto the mirror strip.
I will continue the same steps in between the spaces, but once I get to the bottom part of the lantern, the hole is smaller, so I'll have to glue them overlapping each other. But before I do that, I have to remove all the protective film from all the strips. Next I'll be using the small butterflies and I'll start gluing them on the lantern and I'll be keeping the same pattern as I did with the wire. As you can see, the butterflies are glued in an angle. For lighting, I'll be using fairy lights. I will also be using a drinking straw and paper clip, and all I did with the paper clip was open it up and squeeze one end, slide it into the straw, and leaving the hook on one end and sealing it with hot glue. Next, I'll take my fairy lights and I'll start wrapping it around the straw. Once that was done, I glued on the battery pack. Once that was done, I placed it inside the lantern on the hook. To hang my lantern, I used two book rings and one chain, and I hooked on the book rings on each end of the chain, and then I hooked it onto my lantern. Next, I'll be taking my wire with the butterflies, and I'll be applying glue on the very top tip, and then I'll place it inside the lantern and let it dry. And as you can see, the butterflies are flying from the wire onto the lantern. I also glued on large butterflies onto the chain. I also added 18 inch crystal links hanging from the bottom part of the lantern. I am in love with the way this chandelier turned out. It's so chic, unique, and it's different from anything I've ever seen. This is one of those glamorous chandeliers that you could just put up and stare at it for hours. This is the perfect chandelier to add to your spring collection. This glamorous butterfly chandelier is stunning with the lights on or with the lights off. Either way is stunning. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.